renal system includes pair of kidneys, ureter, urinary bladder, and urethra. Kidneys. Kidneys are two in number and they are reddish brown in color. Kidney consists of outer cortex, inner medulla, and renal sinus. Outer cortex. Outer cortex. It is granular in appearance and it it consists of renal tubules and renal corpuscle. Inner medulla. These are pyramid-like structures and there are eight to eighteen. Malpighian pyramids present in the kidney. Renal sinus. Renal sinus consists of renal pelvis, renal arteries, and renal veins. The renal pelvis is subdivided into two to three major calyxes and eight minor calyxes. Moving on to ureter. Ureter it transports the formed urine from kidney to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder. Urinary bladder, it is a muscular organ that is made up of detrusor muscle. The posterior of urinary bladder consists of tribune. Upper two openings on the urinary bladder are for ureter and the lower opening is for urethra. Urethra. In males, urethra does both the function that is reproductive as well as urination. Whereas in female, it only does urination. In short, kidney produces the urine, ureter transports the urine, urinary bladder stores the urine and it comes out through ureter. Supply to urinary bladder and the sphincter. The uh, sympathetic nerve fibers and the parasympathetic nerve fibers of autonomous nerve fibers supply the urinary bladder and the internal sphincter and the somatic nerve fibers supply the external sphincter. Sympathetic nerve fibers arises from the first two lumbar segment of spinal cord and they supply the urinary bladder, the detrusor muscle of urinary bladder and the internal sphincter. The function of parasympathetic nerve fibers causes the relaxation of the detrusor muscle of urinary bladder and constriction of internal sphincter. The sympathetic nerve fibers is also called nerve of filling. Parasympathetic nerve fibers arise from the S2, S3, S4 sacral segments of spinal cord. They supply the, inter, uh, the urinary bladder and the internal sphincter. They help in the constriction of urinary bladder and relaxation of internal sphincter. This nerve is also the parasympathetic nerve is also called as the nerve of emptying. The somatic nerve fibers, that is the pudendal nerve, supplies the external sphincter. The pudendal nerve, the function of pudendal nerve is to constrict, uh, is constriction. The pudendal nerve, in the, in the case of maturation, the pudendal nerve helps in the relaxation of external sphincter due to which the urine is voided. urethra and then it is returned. It is a reflex process. It is called maturation reflex. Maturation reflex is the reflex through which maturation occurs. So when 300 to 400 ml of urine is filled in the urinary bladder, the muscles present in the urinary bladder stretches and the intravesicular pressure increases. This causes the stimulation of stretch receptors present on the wall of urinary bladder. This produces efferent or sensory impulses which is sent to the sacral segment of spinal cord through the pelvic nerve fibers. The efferent impulses which are produced in the sacral segment is again sent back to the urinary bladder through the pelvic nerve fibers. This causes contraction of detrusor muscles present in the urinary bladder and relaxation of internal spinster. There is a flow of urine from the urinary bladder to the urethra. When the urine enters the urethra, the stretch receptors present on the wall of urethra are stimulated. This produces efferent or sensory impulses which is again sent to the sacral segment through the pelvic nerve fibers. The efferent impulses which are produced in the sacral segment, they inhibit the pudental nerve which causes relaxation of external spinster. And due to this, there is voiding of urine from the urethra. Jungle. Of maturation reflex. First, the 
filling of urinary bladder takes place. Then there is stimulation of stretch receptors. These cause and this produces efferent impulses which passes via pelvic nerve to the sacral segment of the spinal cord. These produces efferent impulses and pass through pelvic nerve to the, sac to the urinary bladder which causes contraction of retrusal muscles and relaxation of internal spinster. There is flow of urine into the urethra which causes stimulation of stretch receptors. These again produces efferent impulses which are passed through the pelvic nerve to the sacral segment. The efferent impulses which are produced in the sacral segment, they inhibit pudental nerve which causes relaxation of external spinster of the urethra. Then there is voiding of urine.